The story starts, as they say, a long, long time ago. Legends, as you can imagine, are passed down from father to son through the family. And my father told me when I was a small boy about a, a Japanese warship being built in Pembroke Dock. He couldn't remember what it was called. So when I got older and getting into middle age, I thought, well, OK, what was that ship that dad told me about? So I, I started looking, I Googled, I found the name of the ship. I did some research and I found she was built in a little private shipyard called Jacob's Pill. Now, at the time I, I lived in Pembroke Dock and I was able to go and see people in Pembroke Dock and say, did any of your ancestors work on, a, on the high eight? Wait, 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 here we are, here we are, look at this. And they brought out newspaper clippings, they showed me photographs, and I think because I've got a local accent, I could reach them easily, you know. So I got a great wealth of information about it. I contacted the Museum of Wales, and Dr. David Jenkins uh, made an appointment to see me. So I went to see him and told him what I was about. Uh, had he got any information? He said, well, all I've got is this plan. I said, that's exactly what I'm looking for. It was the, the shipwright's plan of the high A uh, when she was built in 1877. And across the top, it said, Admiral Togo's first warship. I said, I'll make a deal with you. I said, you can have photographs of all this, uh, or photocopies of all these papers that I've got. If I can have a, a photocopy of that, done. And that's where it went on. <clears throat> So I built the ship and uh, it went into a local museum. The beauty of that being my wife doesn't have to dust it. Um, going back to the high A, her first lieutenant was a gentleman called Hehechiro Togo. He rose to become Japan's most famous admiral. He was known as the Nelson of the East because he was the man who destroyed the Chinese fleet in 1895. He destroyed the Russian fleet in Port Arthur a little bit later. And he also destroyed the Russian fleet at uh, the Battle of Tsushima in 1905, thus saving Japan from possible invasion from either of those countries. So he's revered in Japan like Nelson is here. Now, when he was in Pembroke Dock, he enjoyed his stay so much that when he left, he sent a tree back. The tree uh, came with a message please plant this tree in the garden of my lodgings in appreciation of the kindness you've shown me during my stay. It, it was planted, it grows, it's enormous, it's 80 feet high. And of course, all the Japanese dignitaries that I came into contact with, I took them there, I introduced them to the new owner of the house, and I said, well, this is the tree. Oh, and they'd stand with a hand on a tree in sort of blessing, you know. And the new owner, perhaps I should explain, they'd just taken the, the house over. And I was terrified. I said, what happens if somebody takes a chainsaw to this tree? So I went to see him and I said, do you realize the significance of that tree there? No, please tell me. So I explained all this and he said, I know what I'll do. Now he's restoring the house and he will live in the, the basement on the ground floor. The two upper floors he's going to restore with a Japanese decor. Now he will attract Japanese tourists to come, stay in the house where Admiral Togo lived, come and bless the tree that Admiral Togo had planted. Now, what an advertising ploy. So, I mean, having that, I mean, that assures the, the continued existence of the tree.